It's main.m. Now we're trying to do something interesting uh, where we have a, an NS mutable array of students, and we're just allocate, allocating it and initting it. And then we want to insert into that array Alice and Bob. So we've done it in one line. If we wanted, we could do the same thing. We could do So uh, the NS mutable array class defines an instance method called add object that is just going to take some, some argument with type ID. And so since student star is an object type, that is an appropriate ID. And then we're going to do that again with Bob. So you can think of this as an array where the first element is Alice and the second element is Bob. And then here, is I referenced this a while ago that we have this for in syntax that we're able to use with collections. So this will also work for dictionaries and sets. So for each student in this NS mutable array, we want to greet that student. So one thing that's somewhat important to remember is that everything inside of this array is just stored as an ID. Like, there's nothing enforcing that I only put students into this array. If I wanted, I could put a student and then a, a, and a string and then another student and then some UI table view controller. Uh, it's, it's up to you to enforce that everything is of the same type. Or if you don't want to enforce that, you need to just make sure it makes sense. You know what you're doing. Uh, but like, if I wanted, I could say this. And this isn't going to work because NS string doesn't have a name and age instance variable. But it doesn't know what's inside of the student's array. So for all the compiler knows, it is an NS string. This is where it can be somewhat dangerous dealing with ID. And this is also why you might need to be dealing with casts. So you might want to cast these return values to the appropriate things. OK, so questions on this iterating over an array? Yeah. So it's how it's working underneath the hood is that uh, this NS mutable array class needs to define how to iterate over it. And so in this method that it's defining for how to iterate over it, it's saying that like I'm going to do it in this order. So it's saying that like index zero is the first thing that should be returned, then index one, then index two. So we'll see. I don't think there is to directly to arrays. We'll see though that protocols at the very least are ways to make IDs a little stronger. There are ways to make sure that these IDs are at least objects that conform to a specific interface. Uh, I don't think there's any generic type construct in the language. OK. OK, so that's the syntax we just saw. And Notice here we are saying for id foo in bar. And so we don't know what is inside a bar. And so all we can really say is id unless you happen to know what it really is. OK, so categories is a, actually, let's ignore that for a second. Let's do another example first. Students a. So the point of this example is I've decided I don't want to print these things in just whatever order I happen to insert them into the array. I first want to sort the array. And then I want to print out the sorted array. Uh, so 
there are a couple ways we can do that. I inserted them in the order RJ, Chris, Rob, David. Uh, so here, by looking at the NS mutable array documentation, I see that it has a whole bunch of different ways of actually sorting things. Uh, one way is this sorted array using selector syntax or method. Uh, first, let's look at student.h and student.m. So inside of student.h, I've defined a new method called compare. It's returning this NS comparison result. Uh, and the only reason that's relevant is because this sorted array using selector method expects a method to be passed to it that returns an NS comparator result, whatever it is. So this compare method is going to take another student and just compare ourself, our current student, with that student. Looking at the implementation of that, I decided that I'm just going to compare by name. So I'm going to use self.name references the NS string that is my name. And then I'm going to compare that, like the NS strings compare method, I'm going to use that to compare to the other student's name. And because this compare method returns an NS comparison result, that is an easy way of making sure that I return an NS comparison result. Okay, so now that I've defined this method for students, I'm now going to say here that I'm going to sort the students array using the selector compare. So this special syntax at selector, remember that Meth message methods and selectors are kind of like interchangeable words almost. So I can't just say like this because that's not really a valid syntax. I want to say that I want to use the method compare colon. Uh, and so to actually specify the method compare colon, I wrap it in this special selector keyword. And so what this sorted array using selector method is going to do is iterate over this student's array, calling the compare method of each student to say like, okay, student zero and student one, how do you compare to each other? And then like depending on how they compare, it's gonna determine whether student zero belongs in front of or after student one. So compare has to exist for everything in this student's array. And then let's just run it to make sure that's the case, that this works. So we see a prints Chris, David, RJ, Rob, which is what we wanted. So is that prints or is that the first step? Like do they, well how, do, how do you have an in that prints? So how do you in here? If we, we, we could also decide that we just want to compare ages. Uh, I, this isn't quite right because they're ints and I'm not sure of what NS comparison result looks like. It might just be like return uh, self.age less than other student.age or I guess maybe like if one is less than I'm supposed to return one or if they're equal I return zero or else negative one. I'm not sure what NS comparison result is supposed to look like. Uh, actually, so another Let's go to here again. So a useful syntax that we've already seen this useful shorthand for de defining an NS string, this blah, 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 with the at sign in front of double quotes. Another useful syntax is an at sign in front of brackets for shorthand for defining arrays. So an NS arrays. So now I've defined an array an NS array with two objects, hello and world, two NS strings. An additional shorthand that's somewhat useful is at in front of any number. So this defines the, the like NS string was the first one, NS array was the second one. This defines an NS number with the value 42. And so what may or may not work, what I'm gonna try right here, no actually that won't work at all. So, I might be able to do init NS number alloc. I just want to see if this ends up working at this point. Init with 
int self.age. Oops. And then I want to compare that. Does it have a compare method? Compare to another NS number, which would be NS number alloc init with int other student age. Okay, so questions on what I just did there? <laughs> yes. So I'm not using, here I'm just defining the compare method. It's when I want to actually reference the compare method that in here I say the method I want to use is compare colon. And this is again why I said before like the literal name of the thing includes the colon. So here I'm referencing the method compare colon. In the definition of it, I don't need to use at selector. A method to a method, yeah. Because if it were a function, I wouldn't need to use at selector. I could literally just use a function pointer, but you don't need to deal with those here. Uh, there's some. There's probably some spacing error here. Oh, but that's because I don't need this. Whatever. That's the general idea. Uh, so that's that. Questions before I move on to a similar idea? Yeah. And just as, remember it's like C where, it's like C where this, in order to get the prototype for this thing, I can literally just like copy this, paste it, and put a semicolon at the end. So the prototype is just the first line of the, definition of the function. Okay, so that's that. And now going to students nine, it's where we're gonna get into categories, which that's not very helpful. So here, let's, okay. So the idea behind categories is notice that in order to do what I just did, I needed to actively modify the student class, which is fine because I'm the one who created the student class, so it's fine for me to go into the student class and add a compare method. But what if this class that I need to modify is not something I have access to? What if it's in some compiled library or it's one of the, uh, it's one of the foundation classes or an iOS class? I need to add a method to it but I don't have access to the source code. So these are what categories are for. They're for extending existing classes. And so in Xcode, you can actually do this like file, new, file, and then category, and it'll like walk through through the steps. And the default format of these categories, so remember I'm working under the assumption that I don't have access to the student class. So the default, format of these file names are student, which is the class that I am extending, plus and what I happen to call the category. So here I am extending the student class with the category student compare. And this is just a syntax that you can, you're free to look up whenever you happen to need to extend a class like this. So this extension of the student class is going to include this method. A category is not able to define instance variables. It's only able to define new methods for a class. So looking at the implementation of this category, again, it's the, call, the category itself is student compare, and I'm extending student, and I'm implementing it basically how I implemented it before, exactly the same except I'm able to do this without ever touching the orig original student.h and student.m. And this will work exactly the same. Now in main.m, instead of importing student.h, I import student plus student compare.h, because student compare.h is what is importing student.h. And everything else in here is the same. <laughs> 